I just happened to have my camera in my pocket and I thought I'd just reach in there and grab it and do a little short uh, feeding video. I brought these guys out of hiding and put them here where their food is. I gave them a little uh, notice that there was uh, catfish food, a catfish fillet and some carp eggs and uh, so that's Toby, that smaller turtle there. He's doing or she is doing very well. These other two uh, box turtles are some that uh, I've had for several years since they were little babies. Ornetta's coming out to uh, get herself some food. Wants to, these are all actually her babies here. <laughs> here she comes. No toenails on her front feet. Uh, she's going for some catfish this morning. That's the one I call big guy back there. She's actually larger than her mother and a lot younger. Not uh, sexually mature yet, I don't think. Maybe next year. I enjoy my little uh, box turtle and Russian tortoise habitat quite a bit. Well, absolutely. I can watch it from inside the house. And uh, the activity level is, oh, not ever tremendous. Sometimes there's a turtle that turns over on its back. and Sometimes one will come out here and uh, eat some food. Toby really is eating a lot of food every time I feed. Toby goes to town and uh, really enjoys getting quite a bit of food. Oh, look who's sleeping here. This is uh, but Boris or Natasha, my Russian tortoise. She's, uh, I gave her some food that she can see by her eyes that she's just relaxed in the uh, shade. She's uh, not going to go hide or do anything. She's uh, just quite content to just hang out. Russian tortoises uh, in their native habitat sometimes go into uh, hibernation or estivation uh, in the summertime and uh, it's so hot and so dry that they just go underground and don't come out for uh, until it starts to get more decent. Uh, here in eastern Oregon, uh, it gets decent every morning, so um, Boris or Natasha, the Russian tortoise, comes out and always sunbathes every single day for a half hour, 45 minutes, and then she'll go back underground. Oh, there is uh, Ornetta. Got nine eggs out of her this year. Let's see, five. No, 11 eggs. So I'm trying to hatch 11 of her eggs this year. Last year I only got one to hatch. Oh, uh, Toby there. And, uh, well, actually the year before. Last year I had uh, half a dozen little babies hatch. And uh, I have them in another little section. They're not very photogenic yet. And they definitely do not eat and uh, behave like uh, Toby where you just come out and eat. The little tiny guys uh, are a lot more frightened of uh, me and any activity so I just leave the food out for them and then when things quiet down to their uh, level of uh, that they like uh, they can come out and grab a bite to eat.
It's like Arnetta is not even scared of me. She's just walking straight towards me. Got some food stuck on her left front foot there. Toby definitely has different coloration on his uh, or her neck than his siblings. His siblings all had bright yellowish colored spots on their neck. He's got blotches quite a bit similar to uh, what his mother has or her mother has. Talk about hungry. Holy mackerel. And where's Ornetta going? I bet she's going to just, I don't know, probably finish off that piece of turtle or uh, catfish fillet and go back in the shade. It's uh, about 11.30. And the sun is uh, definitely up and warming the place up. Feels like it's about 80 degrees right now. Might be 85. <laughs> Toby is still eating? No. Toby's decided to go in out of the sun too. There goes Ornetta. She might be going down for a drink of water. That's what that guy is doing. Big guy. No, big guy is just going to go underneath those dandelions there and take a siesta after a few bites of food this morning. Ornette is probably going to be doing the same thing. Well, if, uh, if you have any questions about box turtles, uh, I might have an answer for you. Go ahead and uh, ask your questions or make your comments and... Uh, I hope that you have a good day.